Hello friends, I have this computer here and it's asking for a, a password, which I don't have. Actually the computer for is uh, for a customer, so today I'm going to show you how to remove the password from this kind of computers. This is uh, an Asus, small one, like this, and it has a tank of Windows 10 on it. Yes, it's Windows 10. No, no, it's Windows 8.1. And it's the same thing for Windows 8, Windows uh, 8.1 or Windows 10. It's the same thing, same method to remove the password. So to remove the password, first of all, turn off this computer, push the button. It's right here. Push the power button and keep holding it. And it shows you this one. Now I have to turn off. I have to, use, to slide this by pressing the this button here let me show you i'm gonna press this button here and i will shut it off so press the button here and bring this one and slide it to the bottom and release all right so now once the computer is off as you see in the screen you just see my picture right that's me so uh, what I'm gonna do now I will turn the computer on push the power button and at the once the I turn this on now I push the button so after that I will I have f9 here I keep like pressing on it f9 keep pressing on it No, it doesn't work. So what I'm going to do, I will have to turn the computer off one more time. Because I, I waited a long time, that's why. Okay, I shut it off. Now what I'm going to do, I will push the power button and uh, exact, right away I will push the F9. No, it doesn't work. So if it doesn't work for you, so it's like this. Push the power button and F9. As you see now it comes to this screen it shows here please wait this is the right step so if it as you see three times it doesn't work for me because uh, I was like doing it uh, wrong so if it happens to you just make sure you are pushing the, uh, the power button make sure you push the power button and the right way you press on F9 this is the F9 button here it's right here F9 okay Keep pressing on it. After that, you will come to the screen. This screen, it gives you the option here, troubleshoot. You go to troubleshoot, click on it. And here you have the option to reset your PC. Click on reset your PC. And here it's ask you for the recovery key. You don't need it. Just hit skip this drive. And after like sometime it will go to the next screen it may take like up to one minute so let's wait et voila now we are here here it tells us set, uh, reset your pc here's what will happen all your personal files and apps will be removed your pc settings will be changed back to their defaults hit next so now you know that you're gonna lose everything on the computer since you don't have the password you cannot access to the password so the stuff that you have in the computer it will be uh, lost there is another way to back up your uh, your stuff even if the computer has a password but it's it's a long story so now we are just resetting this computer and we are removing the account that it has a password okay hit next here it tells it's ask us just remove my files fully clean the drive and that's what the customer wants he wants me to fully clean the drive so that's what i'm gonna do i click here fully clean and uh, all ready to go this will remove your personal files and apps from your pc and restore all settings to their defaults note bitloader drive encryption will be turned off okay hit reset and Oh, that's all what we need to do just wait until it's finished 
it may take some time you just wait until you see the next page and they may like pause this video uh, until it's finished just switch on your PC it's 1% and it's gonna keep going until the 100% and after that the computer will reboot and uh, yeah that's all so let's wait I'm gonna pause this video until we uh, until I see that this come to 100% or close 11% okay after it finishes it goes to this screen I'm still waiting Okay, voila now it takes us to this screen where we can like choose the language and uh, finish the setup we select English and it's okay so the time here I click on English and it gives me the time zone the time zone will be in my place here Eastern time is this one and next then now I agree or I accept you need to give a name for this PC let's say what's the name of this guy I think his name is Oscar Oscar okay next now it wants me to connect to the Wi-Fi Actually, I don't want to connect this to the Wi-Fi, but let's do it. Okay, I put the password Wi-Fi and they hit next. Now, you, it, gives, it gives me here the, uh, to use the Express settings or customize. No, I'm just going to use the Express settings. Next, you set up your account. Okay, here it asks me to set up the account. And because I don't want to set up the account, I'm just gonna uh, don't have an account, create new. Oh, I have to put a new account on it. Always the Windows computers now they are asking for to uh, for a Microsoft account. I have one here in this paper, so I will put it now. So after I put the email address and I hit next, it brings me here to uh, for the recovery in case I forget the password or something. To verify that this is your phone number, enter the last four digits. I don't, uh, that's not the last four digits, so let me see, there is another option. Okay, I stuck here. I can, uh, when I stuck here, because I know this is the the phone number for the old person who was using this computer. So I have this option here. I can do this right now. Just click on it, and you will bypass to the next screen. Okay, uh, OneDrive. It hit next. Signing up your account. and now it will take me to the home screen or what we gonna do now just wait until it finishes I will pause the video and they will show you the last screen it's uh, still installing the applications okay it's getting the applications ready okay now it shows let's start and voila now we are on the, on the home screen okay let's open it so now we are on the desktop as you see if you want to like bring the icons to the desktop just 
Asus Life Updates. Okay, just click right click on the mouse and go to personalize. And for personalize, you have here change desktop icons and you can select computer, users, files, network, and control panel. These five files they are always here in the on the screen. Apply and hit OK and done. Alright guys, so that's how you change the password, I mean to, uh, that's how you remove the password on your uh, ASUS computer, uh, this one I think it's 11 inches, and it's the same method for the other Windows uh, 10, uh, Windows 8 and uh, 10 uh, computers. I hope that this uh, solution uh, helps someone, if it does please please hit the thumbs up i really need it do it now please thank you and if you have any questions leave them in the comment area down below and uh, if you have not subscribed yet please subscribe for more videos okay thanks for watching and see you in the next video peace